Hello everyone, it's wonderful to see you. It's Miss Kendra from Learn and Play Montessori School. And you know what I see out there? I see some new friends I haven't seen. Hi, how are you doing today? You're feeling good? You're tired? That's okay, we're gonna get moving a little bit in just a few minutes here, okay? I'm really excited to see some new friends. And I hope I see you again tomorrow and again on Monday and again and again and again and again and again. And if you want to see your teachers again and again and again, we're also available on our YouTube channel. Please subscribe and you can see us there again and again. We have some more videos and our Facebook Lives. It's really great. We are also going to do some worksheets today. And if you're looking for those worksheets, they can be found on our website under remote learning at a learn and play Montessori.com. Okay, so that's some important things. Another one is that we are looking forward to some really, really exciting new things for our remote learning program. And that's going to include some things like yoga, some special guests, and some artwork and awesome stuff. Okay, so I'm really excited. I hope you're really excited. And I want to start today with our calendar. Now, yesterday was Wednesday, which means today is Thursday, thank you. And tomorrow is Friday. Tomorrow is Friday. That's right. Okay, and how many days do we have in the week? Yes, seven days. And we can sing our seven days of the week song. You ready for that? Okay, let's do it. There are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in a week. There are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Awesome. So we know today is Thursday. What month are we in? Not June, not January, J July. Yes, we're in the month of July. So today we moved forward. It is Thursday, July 23rd. 2020. Awesome. And how many months are in the year? 12, right? You remember there's 12 months in the year? Fantastic. Let's take a look at some of our worksheets. And I want to just say before, if some of the worksheets mom and dad feel a little bit too hard or too easy, we can take a look at the age group above or the age group below also. There's going to be different things for them there. And we might end up mixing and matching some things. So that's going to be all right. We have options. Okay, so let's take a look at our first worksheet over here today. And it's going to be with some patterns. We've been doing lots of patterns. So let's take a look here at some patterns. Now these patterns are given to us. After we do some of these patterns, we can make some of our own patterns. So these directions say complete each pattern. So we're gonna need to look at the patterns we see and think about what's gonna come next. What's coming next in the pattern? So in this first pattern here, we see two shapes. What are these shapes? Heart, yeah, and a, right, a circle. We have a heart and a circle. And in this pattern, there is one, two hearts, and then one circle. And then we have, again, two hearts, and then what's coming after those two hearts? You gotta figure that out. What's gonna come after those two hearts? We can say it out loud, that can be helpful. Heart, heart, circle, heart, heart. Hmm. What comes after the hearts? 
Yeah, a circle. That's right. The circle comes after. So let's draw a circle here. And now, does that pattern work? Heart, heart, circle. Heart, heart, circle. That's right. Excellent. It's the same. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. And then maybe later we come back and we'll color it all up. Beautiful. Okay, a star and a square. So let's say this pattern out loud. Star, square, star, square, star, what's going to go there? What's going to go there? What comes after the star? What's after the star? What's after the star? Yeah, the square is after the star. Okay, you guys, that's fantastic. Let's draw our square in there. It's a reasonably good square. Okay, you guys, excellent start. Let's take a look at the next pattern. I see a moon or crescent. Moon, circle, circle. Moon, circle, hmm, hmm, what's going to go there? So I see a moon, and then what comes after that? A circle, okay. But what comes after that circle? Another circle, okay. And then the moon, okay. And so we know a circle comes after the moon. We see that here. But what comes after that circle? Is it a moon? Does that look right? Moon, circle, circle. Moon, circle, moon. Oh, no. That, that's not right. That doesn't sound right to me. I'll erase that. So I made a mistake. Is that okay? Should I feel sad right now? Oh no, of course not. We don't have to feel like that. When we make a mistake, we can erase it and fix it or say sorry. We don't have to get upset. I see, let's try again. Moon, circle, circle. Moon, circle, hmm. Did you say circle? Yeah, you got it. Circle. Moon, circle, circle. Moon, circle, circle. We got it. That's really great. So in this pattern, there's how many different shapes? Just two. There's just moon and circle. Let's look at our next pattern. A flower, moon, triangle. Flower, moon, what's going to go there? Well, let's see. We've got, do we have two shapes or more here? More. We have a flower, a moon, and a triangle. That's three shapes. So let's see here. We have three shapes. First, a flower. What comes after the flower? The moon, okay. And then what comes after the moon? Yeah, the triangle comes after the moon. So what's going to come after the moon over here? When it's a pattern, it stays the same, right? So here's flower, moon, triangle, flower, moon, yeah, that's right, triangle. So we know that it's triangle because we see after the moon, triangle. After the moon, triangle. Awesome, we're doing great. Let's do the last one and then we can make some of our own patterns. Okay, star, triangle, triangle. Star, Triangle, square, no, 
What's coming next? What comes after the star? A triangle. And what comes after that triangle? What comes after that? Another, what? Another triangle. You got it. Another triangle. Really great. We're drawing a lot of shapes today. So let's see here. We have some patterns here that have two shapes and some patterns here that have three shapes. Let's see if we can make something similar. So I have my little mat here and I have some clear counters and some apple counters and some pencils. I have lots of pencils. So let's see. Let's make some patterns with two things. Let's make a pattern like the first one. Two hearts, one circle. Two hearts, one circle. Let's do two apples and one clear counter. Two apples. What's going to come next? What comes after the two apples? Not a pen, not a pencil. Right? A clear counter. Now that's the same. Two apples, one counter. Two apples, one counter. What if we do something different? Like having three different objects. Like apple, pencil, counter. Then apple, pencil. What comes next here? What's after the pencil? You got it. Yeah, the counter's after the pencil. What if we do this? How do we know what comes before the pencil? Apple, pencil, counter. Hmm? Pencil, counter. What are we missing here? I just took it away. What is it? Yeah, the apple. We know that we see the apple goes before the pencil here, and we remember the apple goes before the pencil there. So we have three different objects in our pattern. That's a lot of objects. Let's do one more. Let's do a two counters, one apple, one pencil. Two counters, one apple. What's coming next? Write the pencil. Yeah, we know that the pencil comes after the apple. So if we want to make another set, what's coming next? What comes after the pencil? Yeah, it's going to be two counters. Okay, and do we remember, looking back here, what comes after those counters? Not the pencil, the apple, right? And what comes after the apple? The pencil. Can you see the pattern? Two counters, one apple, one pencil. Two counters, one apple, one pencil. Two counters, one apple, one pencil. That's really cool. Patterns are really fun. I'm going to clean this up so we can take a look at our next worksheet, and that's going to be beginning sounds. All righty. Again, Mom and Dad, if we don't have the worksheets right now, they can be found in, under the parent portal at learnandplaymontessori.com. Everything is there. You can get registered there all the fun stuff. So this is our beginning sounds worksheet. And let's do a little coloring as we fill in these beginning sounds. So the first picture is of what is that? You see some, some bones, right? 
Yeah, I see the bones too. But what is this a picture of? What's a picture of bones? An X, you said X-ray? Yes, this is an X-ray. How did you know that? Have you got an X-ray? Yeah, some of you know? That's okay. Hopefully we don't need the X-ray. So this is X-ray, right? What's the beginning sound in X-ray? Hmm. X-ray. You thought that was easy? Yeah, that is, it starts with X, right? That's a fun one because we can say X-ray. We hear that letter when we say it. This next one is a what? That's a gene, j what? A jacket. Yes, so when you say jacket, what is that beginning sound? What letter is that sound coming from? Jacket. J jacket. What letter is that? J jacket. Not G. What letter is that? Did you say J? Yeah, it's a J. Let's write J on the line. J. Jacket. Do you have a jacket? Yeah, are you wearing it? No, it's summer, Miss Kendra. Of course not. Maybe it's chilly where you are. Okay, and what is this? This is one of our senses that we use. We use this to smell. What is that? That's a nose. Yeah, that's a nose. When we say nose, what is the beginning sound of nose? Nose. N -n nose. It's not S. I hear S at the end. Nose. N -n N. Yeah, that's an N goes there. N for nose. N. That's our beginning sound. Nose. Okay, let's take a look at the next animal or picture. It is of an animal. This is a, yeah, a zebra. And this is a, the most popular Z word probably. Right, what's the beginning sound for zebra? Z, z. Yeah, and what letter makes that sound? Z, that's right. Let's write a Z on the line. Z for zebra. Okay, and here, this is a picture of a, what is that? You recognize that? It is a jar. It's a jar. What can you do with a jar? You can put jelly in it, right? Jar. When you say jar, what is the beginning sound that you hear? Jar. J, J. Good. And what letter makes that sound? R? That's rar. We need jar. Did you say J? Excellent. Yeah, like jacket. Jar. Jacket, jar, that's the same beginning sound. And here is a lovely, cute little bird's what? Did you say a nest? Yeah, this is a bird nest. That's right, and when we say bird nest, what is that beginning sound? Bird n n nest n nest. Another n. That's right, like the nose. Let's write an n. So what are these words here? First one is 
X-ray. Beginning sound is what? X. Here is a jacket. The beginning sound is J. Yeah. This one is a nose. Beginning sound is N. Good job. And this is a zebra. What is the beginning sound? Z. Thank you. And jar? J and nest starts with an N. Awesome. Thanks for doing that with me. Let's stand up and sing a song. All right. So I'm going to put my paper to the side so that we can be ready to sing a song. Our healthy selves. Are you ready for that? Let's do that now. I'm going to walk over here. If you're sitting down, let's stand up. Let's stand up. You're standing up with me? Okay, awesome. Let's take a moment and sing our carpenter song. You remember that song from yesterday? You do? We're going to do some movements, right? Sawing the wood, nailing the nails, and painting the house. Okay, you ready for that? Awesome. One, two, three. This is the way he saws the wood, saws the wood, saws the wood. This is the way he saws the wood, sawing, sawing, sawing. This is the way he nails the nails, nails the nails, nails the nails. This is the way he nails the nails, Nailing, nailing, nailing. And this is the way he paints the house, paints the house, paints the house. This is the way he paints the house, painting, painting, painting. Awesome. That's our song about a carpenter. That carpenter helps the community worker, the community helper, construction worker, right? They work together to build houses. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Today, we're talking about a different community helper. But first, what did we talk about yesterday? We're talking a lot about our bodies and community helpers. Yesterday, we talked a lot about our what? Our hearts, right? Yeah, our hearts. And our hearts are working really hard in our body every day. What is our heart really like? Just like everything else in our body really likes lots of water, healthy food, good sleep, and exercise, right? And when we exercise, do you remember what our heart does? It's faster and faster and faster for our muscles to get the oxygen. You remember all that? Awesome. I'm glad you remember that. Let's do some jumping and running to see if we can make our heart beat faster. Okay, you ready? Let's do 10 jumps and then running for 10. Okay? All right, let's do 10 jumps together. Ready? One, two, three, Big ones, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <sighs> okay, and walking, running in place. One, two, three, faster. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <sighs> Does your body want to <sighs> take a big breath? Yeah, our body wants more oxygen. It wants to take more oxygen in. And our heart, is your heart beating faster? Can you feel it? Yeah, it's working harder now. When we exercise, it works harder, right? I'm really glad you guys remember that. The community helper we're talking about today is the mechanic. And a mechanic is really, really, really important in our community. Can you tell me, what does a mechanic do? Do you know? What do they do? 
They fix cars. Yeah, an auto mechanic will fix the cars, right? A mechanic is somebody who will fix or move any mechanical devices or vehicles like a car or plane or boat, something like that. Yeah, and they use lots of tools for this, right? They use lots of tools. Let's take a look at our mechanic worksheet and we're gonna do some coloring, cutting, and pasting, all right? So this is a picture of our mechanic and I have some other cool pictures of mechanics for you also. Here's a picture of a bunch of mechanics working together to fix a race car, it looks like. Look at that's a big, big engine. Must be a race car they're fixing. But a mechanic does not only fix cars. There's lots of important things that mechanics fix, like a airplane, right? We want our airplanes in tip-top shape, right? No broken airplanes for us. No, thank you. Very nice airplanes, and they're working to make sure they are safe for everyone flying, just like our cars need to be safe when we're driving. Okay, and one more. There's mechanics for everything, even tractors, right? Our community helper on Tuesday was a construction worker, and they use lots of vehicles, right? Excavator, tractor, bulldozer, so many of those things all need mechanics. If it's broken, we need a mechanic to fix it. What if the ice cream machine is broken? We need the ice cream machine mechanic. <laughs> okay, let's color this picture of the mechanic. What kind of mechanic is he? What is he fixing? What do you see? Yeah, that's a tire wheel, right? So what is he gonna be fixing? Most likely a car, right? But maybe he could be a airplane mechanic. Airplanes have some wheels too. You can pick whatever you want him to be doing. And he can wear a Uniform. A lot of times mechanics will have their uniform on and a name tag. Can you tell me where does a mechanic work? Does a mechanic work at the hospital? Does a mechanic work at the school with your teachers, with Miss Kendra? No. Where does a mechanic work? Maybe they have a shop or a garage because they have a lot of cars to take care of. Maybe they need a really big garage. You think so? You do? Yeah, I think so too. So they're going to have a really big garage. Maybe they're going to call the auto shop. Let's see. This guy needs a name, don't you think? This looks like a Dave. Without a doubt, that's a Dave. All right, let's color his. What is this? What am I coloring now? Yeah, that's a tool. You know what kind of tool this is? A wrench. A wrench. So when a mechanic is working, he needs to be really safe. There's some things that are really heavy and big, like a car, right? You won't want to get bumped or hurt by the car, that's too big, can get serious ouchies. So they're gonna make sure to be really, really safe when they're at work. Maybe they're gonna wear big heavy boots to make sure their feet are safe. Okay, our friend is looking full of color. So now we're ready to trace some of these words. Some of these words down here, what do we, what do we see? 
What is that first one? He has, he's going to need lots of tools to fix cars. Let's trace the word tool. T O O L. Tool. And if Miss Kendra is going fast, we can always pause Miss Kendra and finish when you're ready. Push play on Miss Kendra. Okay? That sounds good. Okay. Uh, let's trace the word shirt. You have to wear a shirt to work. Definitely important. S. H. I. R. T. Shirt. What else does he have in this picture? He has a... Yeah, a tire. T. I. R. E. Tire. Great. And the last one is, what is he wearing on his head? A hat. He's wearing a hat. Let's trace hat. H. A. T. Okay, I finished tracing. I'm ready to cut and paste these words where they belong for our mechanic. So what are some other things the mechanic needs at work? What are some other tools? He's going to need the wrench, right? What about, does your car need oil? Yeah, the cars need oil, right? And so he can have some oil with him, right? Yeah, the mechanic is going to have some oil. Are you cutting out your words? If you need help to cut out, what should we do? Ask for help. That's right. If you need help, that's great. Always ask for help. When we ask for help, we get to learn how to do new things that we didn't know. And that is really, really fun. Okay, so we have some options here. Let's use some glue and paste these where they belong. So the first one I see is the word tire. Where am I going to put tire? Yeah, we found it. Excellent. Let's paste our tire there. Okay, and what is this pointing to? His shirt. Yeah, let's find the word shirt and paste it there. Awesome. And the next one, what is this one pointing to? The tool? The hat. Yeah, the hat. Thank you, the hat. Alrighty, and the last one is tool. The last one is tool. Let's paste the last one here. Awesome. Look at our happy mechanic. He's ready to start fixing things. He's got everything he needs. His tools, his clothes, and his things. Awesome. Okay, you guys, that was really fun. And I'm really so happy that so many more of my friends joined me today. I'm excited to see you again tomorrow. And tomorrow, one of our really special friends is coming. Miss Kelly is coming. So we're going to do some really fun stuff about our body tomorrow with Miss Kelly. And we're going to talk about our heart and our veins and arteries and all the circulation. Okay? All right, you guys, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you tomorrow.